Guess what showed up in the mail? Carbon fiber shift knob. I'll put a link in the description below if you want one of these. These things are awesome. However, I don't like this crumb. You know what I am going to do? Plasti dip. We're gonna plasti dip this little portion right here and then we're gonna install it. Let's get to it. That's looking good. All right, so I'm looking at this. We're almost dry, but there are some spots where it's actually touching the tape. And in order to really take care of that, you gotta have like a toothpick or something. So we've got these toothpicks. I'm gonna go in here, see if I can do this and show you at the same time. Try and not damage it <laughs> and just give it a little separation you know and there that's it that's simple pretty simple sorry if there's any uh, background noise here still at the RV park so it just is what it is but uh, we can go ahead and start pulling the tape off of this thing All right, so now we're back here in the Forerunner. 
nice fourth gen. We're gonna swap out this shift knob for this shift knob. This glorious carbon fiber and black leather and now no chrome shift knob. And before we do that, we've got to replace this one, right? Or get this thing off of here. Now, this one, the bottom chrome piece was spinning. It was driving me crazy. There's a chip up here on the top where it's broken. And I mean, it doesn't really affect my hand or anything, but uh, you know, it's just old, it's dingy, and it feels, it feels old and dingy. It's time for it to be replaced. Here they are side by side. This one does look a little bit smaller. Hopefully it fits. I don't know, I was told it does, so we're gonna find out. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you, and it feels like love. Tell me if I'm wrong. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just like that. Uh. 